Hey there, welcome to Life Noggin. Suppose there's a baby crawling in the middle of the street headed directly towards a pothole. Assuming you're not a terrible person, you go and save the baby. But why are you doing that? In other words, do you save the baby because you know it's the right thing to do, or is it because you'll be praised for it? Or maybe you just don't want to live with the idea that you let a baby fall. Well, luckily for us, Meng Zi, a Chinese philosopher, thinks that humans would be fueled to save the baby due to a natural compassion. In fact, Meng Zi states that humans are born with benevolent urges that they can develop into systematic thoughtful benevolence. Think of it like this, humans are like sprouts of a plant. The more you water them or do good acts, the more they will blossom into virtuous flowers. I mean, take a look at that flower and tell me that isn't the most moralistic thing you've ever seen. Yeah. I thought so. But maybe we are naturally selfish and need some kind of social contract to save us, as Thomas Hobbes would suggest. Or maybe we're all born with some natural sin, as Augustine says, and the only way to be saved is through divine intervention. Hey, all you humans look like ants from up here. Either way, it leads me to wonder, is there any science to point us either way? Well, yes. Yes, there is. Science is awesome. Researchers at Yale and Harvard asked the following questions. Is our first instinct to be cooperative or to act selfishly? By giving volunteers decision-making tasks, the researchers found that the quickest response, or the most intuitive response, was to cooperate with others. The selfish choice almost always occurred later, after the volunteers could think about the task for a longer period of time. So it seems that humans may be naturally willing to help others and are inherently good like Meng Zi believes. But maybe that's just because we know that cooperative actions are rewarded by others. Scientists and philosophers are far from completely understanding human nature, but I know this for sure. All animations are definitely born good. <laughs> Humans, on the other hand. Okay, except for my animator. Okay, I'm sorry. Get that eraser tool away from me. Anyway, what do you think? Are humans inherently good or bad? Tell me in the comment section below. Make sure you come back every Monday for a brand new video. As always, I'm Blocko. This has been Life Noggin. Don't forget to keep on thinking.